Hello and welcome to Technology Simplicity YouTube channel. My name is Jay Chong. Today I'm going to share with you how to bug upload or update your Google Calendar through Google Sheet. And all I'm going to share with you is completely free of charge. As long as you didn't hit the limit of you're going to update more than 1000 events per day, you will do that, right? So what kind of scenario that you want to use Google Sheet to update Google Calendar? One of the example is let's say you have an organization whereby you want to share a private calendar within your organization or a bunch of people, or a group of people, and you need a few persons help to update the events. Properly, you're talking about a loss of events in one month or probably two months. So you might need the collaboration tools whereby the easiest way for everybody to update the calendar together, correct? So one of the best way is you can, everybody can put in the event details in a Google sheet and it will automatically sync to the calendar. So how to do it? Let me show you. Let's go. And the best thing about this module is everything is free and whatever you update to your Google sheet, it will automatically update to your Google Calendar. So what you should do, the very first thing is, please prepare your event list in such a format whereby you need subject, start date, end date, start time, end time, and as well as description. Of course, all this could be, um, it's up to your creativity, whether how you want to design your description format and so on. So let's say you already have this. The next thing you're going to do is go to your Google Calendar. Okay, for me, I'm going to create another new calendar, which is under this part. Just go to your Google and go to calendar up here. You click this guy called create new calendar. Okay, I'm going to call it demo of demo Google sheet auto update. Just for example, okay, let's create the calendar. Okay, maybe I call it the other guy called demo purpose only. Create event. Okay, I'm going to create configure and then I don't want to do anything first. Right now, I'm going to get introduce you guys this thing called Sheets to Google Calendar. So go to this website link or you can actually go to the YouTube video description click on the uh, materials being called out on this video. Okay, you will click here and redirect here. All you need to do is scroll down to the end whereby you can get free membership. Remember just now Max, I mentioned, you can make up to a thousand events per day. And in this free module, you can import maximum 5,000 events. I believe this is more than an ordinary request already. And of course, if your organization need more of it, you might subscribe to one of the plan here. Today, I'm going to share with you the free membership here. Just click select and it's never expired and it's totally free. So the next thing is I'm going to log in with my Google. Okay, log in. Let's continue. Okay, it's very simple. Okay, it's done. So I'm going to click submit and confirm. Ah. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to go to my Google Drive. I'm going to create a Google Sheet using a blank. Okay, or you can create here so it's the same. Okay, you just go to Google Sheet and create a blank spreadsheet. Okay, let's do it. When you're done, I'm going to share, put this guy called Auto. Oops. Okay. Okay, I'm going to call it auto update to Google Calendar. Okay, this for example. Okay, let me zoom in so that you can view better. Okay, remember just now I mentioned that you should prepare such a format first. Okay, before you copy paste into this Google Sheet, what you need to do is go to this guy called add-ons and you click this call get add-ons. So the next thing you're going to do is you need to search this guy call sheets to 
Google Calendar. Okay, you search it. The very first one, okay, the legacy is outdated. If you look at this part, this is already used by more than 200,000. You just click it and just install and continue. Okay, and again, it's all about permission. You need to allow these sheets to Google Calendar uh, add-ons to view your calendar as well as modify your, what is called, your spreadsheet. Okay, don't worry about the permission. Just carry on, allow. Okay, once you're done, okay, it's cool. So right now, I'm going to activate these add-ons in this Google Sheet which I come here, okay. The very first thing is, you will realize your add-ons already have new add-ons called Sheets to Google Calendar. And the very first thing you need to do is, I would say, link the sheet, okay? Link, the, link this sheet, this Google Sheet, do your Google Calendar first. Okay, let's do this together, number one. You just click it and this bar will be appear here. So what you're going to do is, remember just now I created a calendar. So these are all the calendars you created. And I'm going to choose the demo purpose only. That is the one that I created just now, remember? Okay, so I come back here. Okay, because I start from zero, so it's fine. I just clear and link the sheet. Time zone does not match. Okay, I don't want to continue without using different time zone. But however, uh, for your information, Kuala Lumpur and Hong Kong is the same time zone for now. So I'm going to ignore it. Okay, continue. Okay, this step is actually telling you it will empty the whole sheet if there's any data. So since we are starting from scratch so there's no issue for us to continue okay you shall see the whole format of the google sheet already imported in such a way so the next thing is i'm going to copy my events here let's say i'm going to copy all this guy i'm going to paste here i'm going to copy the description i'm going to paste here Okay, other than this description and start time, end time, start date, end date, and title as well. Of course, you can update in terms of location, you can update in terms of time zone, or even you can invite the guest by key the email address here. Okay, the link here is actually not added for you. This is actually after you sync with Google Calendar, it will show you each individual uh, agenda or events in the Google Calendar, okay, as well as the Google Meet link. Lah. Okay, of course, you can update your color here according to the uh, event color. So, right now, I'm going to do it the simple way first, which just title, start and end, date and time, description. Okay, when it's done, the next thing is you want to sync it to your calendar. Right now, the calendar is empty. If you look at this part, I already take this guy called demo purpose only. And it's empty, right? Okay, I'm going to sync this guy by clicking the add-ons. Shift to calendar. Now I'm going to do in update calendar. Okay, so the very first thing is you link the sheet. The second thing is you just update calendar. Okay, I'm going to click this guy, update. So give it a while. Okay, it will pop up and telling you whether you want to send guest notification and so on. For now, I don't want to send anything. Okay, I'm just update to it only. Okay, click it. Let's wait for the magic to happen. It will just tag, I think, probably a few seconds. If your events have too much, it probably takes some time. So you just wait for it. Okay, it's done. So if you look at it, I have 36 events and it's already created here. And if you need, if you updated the event here, it will update as well, as well as if you want to delete it. Okay. 
So right now, let's go check the Google Calendar. Ta-da! Surprise! All the events have been created just like that. Okay, let's view in the month mode, then you can see. Ah, everything is done. So it's very simple, right? That's it. It's so simple. Huh? Okay, I hope you learn how to use a simple Google add-ons and using Google Sheet and Google Calendar, you can do this kind of synchronization and auto updates, especially we we're talking about in bug. So I hope you really enjoy the tutorial just now and If you like this video, please help me to like this video. Okay, click like and of course subscribe to my YouTube channel, Technology Simplicity, and I'm going to share with you more tips and tricks on how to simplify by using technology in your life. And once again, thank you so much for watching. Stay home, stay safe. Bye-bye.